it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is the 3rd of March and today I have chosen to scrap lift Vanessa Bell. Uh, so I believe she's Vanessa Bell both on Instagram and YouTube. So I will have those links down below for you to head over and check her out. She is amazing and she has tons and tons of inspiration. So funny enough, I actually had screenshotted another layout and then I went to pull it up on my computer on her Instagram to find it to do it. And then I ran across this one and I was like, mm, I think I want to do this one. <laughs> so uh, she has lots and lots of amazing things. So I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I am doing two photos of my son's senior uh senior photos uh this was uh pictures with him and the dog and then him and the dog and his dad so i trimmed him down to four by four i grabbed one of the papers from my how to kill a kit with style and decided to use it as a mat. I did not get it because I don't like the paper, uh, but it was just enough contrast that I think it worked. And then I put a uh, black cardstock as my base and I cut that floral piece and now I'm cutting this uh, scrap from SEI. Uh, if you saw it before, I had cut out uh, You've Been Egged. Uh, <laughs> out of it. Uh, we egged our neighbors this year, uh, not with like real eggs. Uh, so uh, there's, there's something uh, you hide uh, 12, 12 eggs and then you let them know not to worry that one is empty. So, uh, but yeah, it's funny because, because the, the little thing says you've been egged. So <laughs> <laughs> I I used to have a printable and I couldn't find it. So uh, we made our own egg, put that on top and then uh, wrote the instructions on the back. And uh, we don't actually know these neighbors, but we do know that they have a kid. So <laughs> we decided we were going to egg them this year. And it was cold because we woke up to snow on Easter morning. Like, like we didn't get a white Christmas this year, but we got a white Easter. <laughs> so speaking of white... Um, I am going to do some stenciling on this black cardstock. I am so excited. My friend Amber sent me this Distress Ink. It is in Picket Fence, so it is white. And look at how awesome that looks on a black background. Like, so cool. Uh, so I know it's hard to tell, but in Vanessa's, she ha it looks like she has some mixed media on the background paper. It could be the background paper itself. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but I'm following it pretty darn closely. So I've got the mixed media. I have the two four by four photos. I have, I even have like florals and she has leaves and then she has yellow strips on top and bottom of that as well. So it's, it's pretty close actually. Um, I'm going to map my photo two times just like she did, but she matted it in white and then, uh, in a pattern paper, I'm going to do black and then this scrap of pattern paper that I just pulled out of my scrap bin. I am trying to, if I need, if I need a piece of paper just for matting or something, I am really trying to go to my scrap bin first. So uh, hopefully it will help me use it. Otherwise, let's be honest, uh, next year for January's, uh, baby got scraps, I'll have some. <laughs> so I've got those matted. I'm going to go ahead and glue them down side by side, just like she did. And then I'm going to work on my embellishing. So in my kit, I had this black paper and it had these florals on it, uh, florals and like plants. So there's like some strawberries and some lemons. So I just went ahead and fussy cut those out. 
I'm going to use two of the florals that are very similar and then I'm going to use uh, the lemons just to bring in some more of that yellow. So then I went ahead and went through my Maggie Holmes die cuts that were in my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And then I pulled out my little extra bin that you can kind of see over there off to the left and decided to pull a few things from there. So I pulled a sticker that says the best day ever. Um, I know that's kind of like tough for some, some people, but I don't know. I My thought is you really should try to make the best out of every day. So if you make the best out of it, then then it's the best day, right? So that's kind of my logic behind it. So that's one of those phrases that really doesn't bother me. So I found that and a ticket and then just another, it actually said week one, but I flipped it over so you can kind of see the one, but uh, I grabbed some fussy cut banners there at the bottom as well as a sparkly XO. And then there was a frame and I went ahead and cut that frame in half. So in Vanessa's uh, layout, she had made a shaker pocket and I was thinking I wanted to make a shaker pocket with that frame as well, but it was too big. And honestly, I didn't want to go look for another one. So I cut it in half, used it on the top and bottom. And instead of making a shaker pocket, I am just going to do a ton of sequins scattered in all three embellishment clusters. So I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive, dropping down some dollops of glue, and then I'm going to use my Crystal Katana and drop all of these sequins. So this is a random sequin pack uh, that I've been using up for the last couple months, and it just has white and yellow sequins on it, which I think actually worked really well for this. Now, I don't have very many packs of random sequins because I am a Spiegel Mom Scraps sequin fan. Um, always have been, always will be, uh, which actually is kind of funny because uh, Vanessa is on the design team now. And I think this was a design team layout, actually, now that I'm looking at. Uh, she's, got, she's got her strip down there at the bottom. So uh, I really probably should have, but I'm really excited because I used up all of them. I had a couple left in there and I said, you know what? I am just going to count them and however many sequins I have left, that's how many dollops of glue I am going to use. And I am going to finish up every single one of these. So it's pretty impressive to finish a thing of sequins without doing a big shaker pocket or shaker page. Ooh, those are so fun. I love me a good shaker page. Uh, December Daily is a good good option for shaker pages as well. Uh, but I like the whole shaker page. That's pretty fun too. So anyway, that is going to finish up my layout today. Uh, make sure you head over and give Vanessa some love and then uh, check out the playlist and see uh, what layouts everybody else is scrap lifting. It may not uh, even be the same person. So there are my close-ups. Remember to wear your crown and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.